whole lot of hoopla. And more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Buenos dias, yo soy Izzy. Bonjour, je m'appelle Lathan. Need help filling out f your FAFSA? Well, you're in luck. Frankfurt will be hosting a FAFSA night February 4th from 4 to 7 in room 150. Juniors, if you're interested in government and politics, you should consider attending Hoosier Girls or Boys State. Applications are in student services and they're due today. For lunch today, on lines 1 and 2, there are tacos. Line 3 is a soup and salad bar with chicken and rice soup. Line 4 has a potato bar or stuffed crust pizza, and line 5 is closed. A happy birthday goes out to Jewel Townsend. Now let's head on over to weather and sports. Thanks guys. For the temperature today, there is a high of 33 and a low of 26. Throughout most of the day, it will be mostly cloudy and start in the mid-30s. A shout out to Mr. Wayne Scott who has requested a quote for today. The key to success is to start before you are ready. I hope that inspires you. That's all from your favorite meteorologist, Now to Sports with Juliet. Thanks, Calissa. Swimming last night fell to Kokomo. The event winners for the evenings were Adam Haynes in the 200 freestyle, Patience Dean in the 50 freestyle, Kylie Adams Long in the 100 freestyle, Tyler Harness in the 500 freestyle, ladies Carly Bessler, Aubrey Teeter, Kylie Adams Long, Patience Dean in the 200 freestyle relay, at Aubrey Teeter in the 100 breast, and Carly Bessler in the 100 meter diving, with a score of 160 and 60. The overall score, the ladies lost 82 to 94, and boys lost 50 to 133. Reminder, there is a mandatory softball meeting after school tomorrow in room 305. Make sure you attend if you're planning on playing. The girls basketball team will be traveling to McQuanaqua High School today. That's all for sports, now back to the studio. If you have a class with Mr. Taylor, you will go to the following rooms today. Community to the choir room, period three to room 100, period four to the piano lab, and period five to room 203. Are you interested in going to the cosmetology field? Luckily, FHS has your back. They allow for this pathway to be possible. Now let's hear for more from Odalise for more info. Cosmetology is a one-year course beginning in June prior to the senior year and completing in June after the senior year. This course follows a calendar set by Christina and company. It would take up nine spaces in your schedule out of 15. This program also requires attendance at the Chosen Lafayette School on Saturdays for the entire year. Students attend high school in the morning and the cosmetology school in the afternoon. This enables students to meet the state requirements for 1,500 hours of training. The area vocational district will pay approximately half the tuition at either Lafayette School. Live the beauty experience at Christina and Company. That's it for today's announcements. Be sure to like and subscribe to see our faces every day. And remember, you can't help Pizza the Hut. Eat your grits.